2020 is not leaving quietly. A powerful storm system is expected to bring severe weather from the nation's midsection to the south and east for New Year's. In Corsicana, Texas, a tornado touched down briefly today. Several homes were damaged and trees were knocked down. And heavy snow just south of Oklahoma City made driving there dangerous. More snow is on the way. CBS's Lonnie Quinn joins us now. So, Lonnie, how bad will it get? I think it could get pretty bad for your New Year's Eve around Louisiana. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We have a 2,000 mile run of precipitation anywhere from Burlington, Vermont, all the way into Texas. You know, most of that is rain. Northern New England, you are seeing some snow, a little bit of snow mixed in here or there. But the big snow out around the Pacific Northwest, we're talking the Cascades picking up, you know, a foot of snow. The sawtooth could be seeing two feet of snow, but the severe weather risk is for Louisiana. This area shaded in orange, about two thirds of Louisiana tomorrow, running a three out of five chance to see a tornado. So uh, that's pretty high for this time of the year. Question is, where's that going to go once you get to New Year's Day? We thought maybe into the Carolinas. We're downplaying that now. It just doesn't look like the elements are in place. I will say it's a wet weather day for the Carolinas. Some icing around Pennsylvania, maybe into New York. And then for your weekend, still wet around portions of the Carolinas. And then you look around the Midwest from St. Louis to Chicago, a little bit of a snow chance there. But there's a big snow chance by the time we get to the weekend for the Pacific Northwest. We're talking now. Some of the, the, the big mountains like Bachelor and Mount Hood could be seeing you know, up to three feet of snow. So even if you're not a skier, you need that for your reservoirs out there. Margaret, that's a look at the weather situation from coast to coast. All right. Thank you, Lonnie Quinn.